Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what is on my iPhone 6 Plus video. I told you guys that I would film this for you if you wanted to see it and so many people wanted to see what is on my phone so I said I would do that video today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like what's on my phone or any phone videos, if you want an update on my phone or maybe a review of the phone, let me know. I absolutely adore this phone. I have it two weeks now and I am just loving it. I love everything about it. I think it is one of the best phones I've ever gotten in my entire life and I love it so much. For now, let's get into what is on my iPhone. So guys, this is what the phone looks like in its entirety in rose gold and to me it's more pink what the front of the phone looks like and obviously you have your keypad thing. Now mine is fingerprint. So mine is just my thumb. You can take as far as I am aware, I think three different imprints. So you could take one of your index finger and your left thumb if you so wish but I just have my right thumb so when you press up my home screen scream <laughs> screen is just me and me and obviously you can slide to unlock but it just unlocks with my thumb let's put it that way this is what my home screen looks like I'm just zooming in a little bit so you can see it a bit better so I have my calendar my photos my camera and because it's the 6s if you hold down this it gives you the options to take selfie, record a video, you can do the slow-mo or you can take a photo. So that's really, really handy. And then again, the same thing in the actual photo. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. Then I have my other folder, which I have things like Google Maps, whatever maps they are. My wallet, which I've never used and I won't be using because a lot of people have been getting their phones stolen and information been taken from their wallet. The stocks, I think that comes with the phone. I have my game center, my reminders which my reminders I don't actually write anything in there's Jimmy's birthday from like last year I have flappy bird in here does anyone remember that app? just keep it in here because I was playing it for ages and I didn't want to get rid of it because they got rid of the app and you know and then the last thing is videos which I don't use because obviously I will well I do use it but I don't use it for YouTube so then I just have the weather app and let's see what the weather looks like so the weather in Dublin is 12 degrees and cloudy Thursday Friday Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is all looking a bit crap to be honest. Thursday's not looking too bad. So then I've got my app store which I've eight notifications. I probably need to update some apps. I've got my notes here and that's actually something I use quite a lot but I just keep notes in here like video idea, purchases, school advice, you know things that I think would be helpful for videos and then in my new notes what have I got? Half and half faces, products I regret, just kind of notes that I will jot down when I'm out and about and thinking about them. Then I've got my iTunes store obviously which I used to use a lot and not so much in recent times. Then I've got this countdown app which is actually quite helpful. You basically put down events that are coming up. First one is like my trip to Galway which is in 16 days. I haven't been to Galway this year and I'm so excited. Christmas obviously, 36 days away. Very excited for that. And then me and Jimmy's 8 year anniversary. Yeah guys, I know. 8 years. Huh. I'm like the guy in the relationship. <laughs> I can never remember when our anniversary is so I set an alarm just so I don't forget. Uh, obviously the settings folder and then my utilities where I keep my contacts, my calculator, my compass, voice memos which I've never used, torch which is an app and I could actually delete it because it comes with the phone now, your clock and then my all my alarms. I set that many alarms in the morning just so I get up in time, obviously your stopwatch and timer etc. I keep safari in here and my facetime, the health app, oh, look at my activity level today, terrible. The last thing is books, obviously if you buy books I have no book because I prefer an actual hardback and then I've got my phone down here because obviously you need to ring people, mail which I've just got back to a ton of mail and I'm only 11 left thank god my messages because I'm always texting and my music because it is my most favorite thing in the entire world is listening to music so now let's move on to the second screen so this is what we've got here so I'm gonna zoom in on this so in my first little folder I've got my photos I have this one called alias which used to be called line camera I absolutely adore that for editing pictures and putting filters and certain things but then I have a signature so I can write my signature onto my pictures and then I I've got pick frame because you know we all like to make collages. I've got square ready to, sh to squeeze everything down for Instagram. Crop which I don't use and don't know why it's on my phone. Beauty boot I don't really use that either. And Facetune which I use every now and again to edit selfies and then photo mirror which I haven't used in a long time. If you guys want a demo on any of these apps or how I edit my Instagram pictures let me know. So then I've got my social folder and this is where I just have my Twitter, my YouTube, my Instagram and Facebook and, and 
all my handlers are at Dramatic Mac so if you want to follow me on any of those it's always at Dramatic Mac and then I've got my extra folder and that is just where I have my watch podcast find friends tips and find iPhone this all came with the iOS 9 update I believe I, correct me if I'm wrong I'm not really sure then I have my whatsapp obviously I used to have Viber but I deleted that or I still have it but I haven't put it onto this phone Shazam which I use to Shazam music or to find out what the music actually is my snapchat which I am constantly on if you don't follow me it's at Dramatic Mac as well talk app which I used to use for doing my voiceovers before I got my snowball my authenticator I am not going to show you that because it basically gives me a code to log into my email it's like a two-step verification code clue which is to track my menstrual cycle did anybody ever watch Family Guy actually when they talk about the menstrual cycle it's just so funny and he's like the menstrual cycle a great way to get around town that's what that is anyway moving along my Spotify which I use all the time and you can follow me on that as well if you want to the Simpsons tapped out which I absolutely adore and then 98 FM which is one of my all-time favorite radio stations and I always have to say I'm not sponsored I'm not sponsored by any of these apps because people just think that I am I just enjoy all of these apps anything that I don't use I get rid of and I delete off you know my iCloud or whatever so whatever is on this phone right now is basically the most used things that I use and basically it's between snapchat and my other social media so if you guys want a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures let me know and I will do that because I do get an awful lot of questions regarding it I leave my background linked in the description below I change my background quite a lot but at the moment I am using the rainbow one because I think it's really pretty if there's any more questions please leave them down below oh and also just to let people know I do use a cover for this phone it's a clear back case I will link down where I got mine I just don't have it on for the purpose of this video and so guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed that video I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next one